What did sports eyewear look like in the 1940s, 50s, 60s era? Let's talk about it. All right, guys, hello and welcome to the Hicks Brunson Eyewear YouTube channel. And today on the channel, I've got a special treat for you. We're gonna talk about the newly released Haze Master by AO Eyewear. It's a beautiful vintage design recently brought back out of the archives as uh, AO Eyewear is known to do as of late. Uh, but first, uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you wanna see more eyewear content, eyewear style lenses. We have a lot of great content on transitions lenses. I welcome you to subscribe to the Hicks Brunson Eyewear YouTube channel and please give us a like because it really helps what we do here. So let's get into it. Uh, we're talking today about the Haze Master. We're talking specifically about this new piece right here by American Optical, also known as AO Eyewear. This is sports eyewear, guys, from the 1940s. I think if you look at uh, the description provided by AO Eyewear, they call this a, a 1960s reboot, throwback. Um, I, I believe um, you have a lot of styles like this that actually originated earlier than that. This is a, a nice rounded aviator. And um, the Haze Master um, is just a beautiful piece because it is what sports eyewear, uh, the origin of sports eyewear. Um, several reasons for that. You've got the comfort cable temples, so when you wear this frame, it's gonna stay put, it's not gonna slip down your nose. It's got what is called a sweat bar. So that's this, or some people call it a brow bar, some people call it a sweat bar. The reason it's called a sweat bar, this plastic piece right up top here, uh, if you're outdoors and you're doing active things and you're perspiring, it uh, prevents the sweat from dripping down between uh, your brow line into your eyes. Um, so, you know, of course the aviator design, we can talk about why it's good. For pilots, I talk about that in a different AO video on the original pilot, um, the efficiency of the deep teardrop shape. Um, for sporting activities, it's also very uh, useful because it's large, full field view, wide, high. Um, and let's talk about this color in particular today. This is the, I think they just call the frame color simply gold. Uh, and they call this lens color yellow. I'm gonna put these on uh, so you can see. Um, Yellow, when I think of yellow, I think of like a shooter yellow, which is a really rich, bright yellow, um, you know, used for target shooting, uh, which really helps you get crisp definition. This is more of an amber yellow to me. It's, it's not a true brownish amber, definitely has a lot of yellow tones in it. Um, but I don't want you to think when you see the yellow description that it's a bright yellow. Bright yellow is pretty intense out in the sun. Uh, this again being more amber yellow, it's actually quite soothing and there's a reason for that. When you want a good frame for sporting activities, if you're doing, you know, people who were doing outdoor uh, hunting, marksmen, uh, anybody who's out, <laughs> out in the field, literally, um, this lens tint, it eliminates the blues from the light spectrum and it does what all good driving lenses do, but to a higher degree than like a typical amber color, it really sharpens clarity. So you can see through the fog, through the mist, you can see the outlines of shapes very clearly. And so um, it's just a great color um, in all light levels, especially when, say you're outdoors doing an, um, some kind of outdoor hunting type activity uh, or anything you might be doing outdoors and you start getting into sunset or early morning hours when it's not quite as bright. Uh, this yellow amber color is really not going to be too dark ever because you're still going to get sharp, clear vision. So um, fantastic lens for that. And I mean, I just think the look, I mean, you know, you can talk about efficiency and utility and that's what this lens does for you, providing clear, sharp vision, but it's got a cool look. I mean, let's face it, it just the light amber. You can wear this. This is almost light enough to be an indoor outdoor tint. We're doing a lot of indoor tints lately. So there's definitely a street style element to wearing a tint like this. Uh, in 2024. So um, hats off to AO Eyewear. This is the gold color. Uh, for those of you that want a more traditional sunglass color, um, the gold does come in a darker color lens as well, which we'll make links available uh, in the description box. This is the silver color. And the silver has uh, also has the same components, cable temple, has a, a brow bar um, or a sweat bar to catch the, the sweat. 
This one has a gray nylon lens. Both of these lenses are nylon, uh, which, you know, a, a nice material, not as heavy as glass, but has nice sharp optical clarity. Um, so yeah, again, you have the silver, silver color here with the gray nylon. So those of you that are looking for something that's more of a traditional outdoor sunglass that you can wear and be comfortable on a bright sunny day, uh, this is gonna be more comfortable. It's gonna block a lot more light, obviously, than what they call the yellow, which again, I call kind of an amber yellow. Um, so that's the Haze Master, two great colors, gold and pewter. I think they call this pewter. Looks more shiny. <laughs> yeah, they do. They call it pewter. Looks kind of looks kind of silver to me. Silver and pewter. Eh, you know, potato, potato. Um, but they call it pewter. This is the pewter color. This is the gold color. Um, beautiful design. Again, they describe it as being a 1960s look. Uh, I'm fairly certain it goes back uh, at least a decade or two before that. If I'm wrong on that, you all let me know in the comments below. Um, but just wanted to share with you guys the Haze Master today. I will share my, my one critique of the design. Um, a Cable Temple, um, there, there's a, they could have, my one critique of this design, the Cable Temple length is a little bit long. I noticed when we got these in and we first started kind of testing them out and putting them on, um, the, I have a pretty average size head. And the cable was a little long on me, meaning that I got a little bit of a little too much play for it to slip forward. Um, but there's a real easy adjustment for that, which uh, we've already kind of done to all of the frames we stock. The, the, cable, the cable is adjustable, so it can be tightened or loosened depending on need, because everybody's head shape and size is a little bit different. Um, but we can, we can change the angle and we can modify a few things about the fit of the frame. So rest assured, if you order the Haze Master from Hicks Brunson Eyewear, we'll make links available down below. Um, all of ours are gonna go out pre-adjusted so as to comfortably fit a um, most people, like kind of most people. And then again, know that they're all adjustable and um, that we can show you how to do that. Um, or you can take these, of course, to your local optician that you trust and um, hey, we all love fitting and adjusting eyewear on all of our people in our local community. It's something opticians do all around the world. So thanks so much for watching. If you've got questions about the Haze Master, we'll make links, contact links available in the description box down below. Thanks so much. We will see you in the next video.